just to be uh, remembered as a good person, I think. That's all I can, can think of. I spent, I've spent my life looking after people, so that's all I think I want to be remember, remembered by. I'm such a, I'm a very independent person and I'm going to look after myself till the last breath, I think. Uh, and um, I, I don't, like, everybody offers to do things and I thank them very much, that's very nice, but I'll carry on and do it my way. Uh, and um, I just saw some, this is off the track, about the lady that married the first wife of Ernest Hemingway. And she was the, uh, a very well-known and first woman war correspondent at World War I. And they said, you don't say no to her. And if you do, she doesn't listen anyway. <laughs> so I'm something like that. <laughs> it's, it's always been with me, right, from the day the day I was born, I think it was, and um, I sort of thought everything on my, on my own, and if ever I was sort of in trouble, uh, like throughout my adult life even, I can always think of two or three things to get me out of that trouble. I, you know, I don't just throw my hands in the air and, and give up. I don't think it's not, I think it's because I've been on my own, you know, quite a bit, so. You have to do your own thinking. I have nobody to say, you know, to um, get advice from, which I probably wouldn't listen to anyway. <laughs>